What's up, heisters? This is Infamy 3.0. So for those of you that don't know what Infamy is, it's a system for Payday in which you can level up to level 100, and once you do, you have the option to go Infamous. What this does is it resets your levels, and you gain one rank of Infamy. There are some cool cosmetic features you can unlock with Infamy, and also, before going Infamous was necessary if you wanted to be able to min-max your skills as efficiently as possible. In the previous system, it was more like a spider web, and you can kind of choose your path that you desired. Personally, I enjoyed that system, but I suppose Overkill didn't, so they've done away with it. And now what's replaced it is this Battle Pass-like system. By the way, I detest Battle Passes and their inclusion in nearly every video game in their content cycles. In Overkill fashion, they hopped on the bandwagon, albeit a little bit late. So let's take a quick look at what's different. When you log into the game, it will tell you that there is a new Infamy system in place, and you can see some of the differences laid out. One of the best changes, in my opinion, is making the skill point requirements all unlock in the very first Infamy level. Like I said before, this was a pretty necessary investment for any serious heister out there, but it required five Infamy levels. So a quick description of it is, skill point requirements for each tier are reduced by 10% and the additional things are your infamy base drop rate is increased from 0.3% to 0.6%. Good golly, that's terrible. Experience gain is increased by 5%. So basically, the most important part is the very first line here, and this allows you to spend less points getting up to a new tier of skills. After that, you can see that the reward system is very much like a battle pass. Unlock one tier of infamy, and you'll unlock one tier of rewards. Since I have reached Infamy 25, you can see how all of the previous masks and EXP rewards are retroactively unlocked for me. Now that's an insane amount of payday to be played, but I know all of you guys love your payday, so many of you will surpass me in no time at all. The further you get in your Infamy, the easier it is to become infamous due to the extra EXP gain. Now, in the past there have been certain tactics and whatnot to help you gain levels quickly. Namely, one can save a high-level crime spree and cash in on the rewards and EXP once you've just gone infamous. Most of the time, this bypasses most of the grind needed to reach the next level. Unfortunately, it seems that Overkill did not like this and decided to place a restriction on going infamous. If you have an active crime spree available, you will not be able to go infamous. Sorry guys, you'll have to find some new meta-leveling strats. Now what about people like me, that have already reached Max Infamy rank in Infamy 2.0? Well, they've added some new rewards that you can get, up to rank 65. So, just in between rank 25 to 65, you can get 16 new weapon colors, 4 new gloves, 1 new outfit with a couple different variants, and 16 new joint game stingers. But wait, what's a join game stinger? Here, I'll show you what it is. When someone joins your game that has gone infamous before, a special sound will play. Now ignore that actual sound, my game is modded and I use the Mysterious Stranger from Fallout as my sound, but you get the idea. When someone joins your game, you get a neat little sound that flexes your EP. To access this, just select the Join Stinger option in your inventory menu. Well, 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 I, I know, I know, I missed it. There's something else here that may have caught your eye. And I know this excites a lot of people. Overkill went ahead and added 500 Infamy rank. Wow, that's a lot of levels. I mean, I thought 25 Infamy ranks was a lot, but... I'm sure there are a lot of hardcore heisters out there that'll relish the challenge. Oh, and the best part is, I've seen some people in pubs already with Max Infamy. What a sense of pride and accomplishment. So there's one last important thing that we should talk about, about Infamy changes and how they work with skill sets. This is taken from the Overkill update page, and I'll read it to you here. So with this update, we also made a slight change to how going Infamous works. Every time you go Infamous, your first skill set, with Set 1 as its default name, will be reset. All the other skill sets will be suspended. And that means that they will keep all their skills, but they will be unavailable to you until you acquire the skill points equal to that being used in the set. You can also choose to reset a suspended skill set before you have enough points. 
This will give you your access to the set again, but since it's reset, you will have to reassign the skill points that you have available. All profiles that use the skill set that got suspended will be assigned to use your first skill set instead. The profiles will keep any mask, outfit, or perk deck that is assigned to them. Now, that is actually a really nice change. Before, when going infamous, you just reset all your skills and skill sets, meaning there's pretty much no point into making any until you decide to stop leveling your infamy. With this, only your first set will be reset, and the rest of the sets will just be waiting for you when you reach the appropriate skill level. Now, would this have been nice when I was leveling up infamy? Hell yeah. It's really late, but, you know, better late than never, I suppose. And there you have it, all of the relevant information about Infamy 3.0 in Payday 2. Overall, not too much was different, but a lot of people were asking me to talk about it, so here it is. Now you may be asking, well, General McFadass, you're a professional Payday heister, what Infamy rank are you going to try to get to? Well, random citizen, I do not plan on going Infamy at all. Actually, if anything, I kind of regret going all the way to 25. One of my favorite numbers is 12, so if anything, I'd like to revert back and stop there, but that's not really possible without cheating. So why don't you want to go infamous, General? Surely, you don't play other games and payday is what you live and breathe, right? Well, there's a couple things I'd like to say about that. In general, infamy isn't really much of a status symbol in my eyes. You know, some games have some really cool stuff for people that do, well, cool things. You know, they've done the hardest content, and they can show off some really cool cosmetics that only a small number of people have. Or maybe there's a certain rank, and against other players, that shows off how much uh, skill you've acquired and how much skill you have. In Payday, Infamy is just a number. It just kind of shows how much you played the game. You know, you don't really need any skill to go Infamous. You just need to play a lot. And to play a lot. And to play a lot. Sure, the amount of time played does somewhat correlate to how much one loves the game, maybe how good someone is, but it's not really a display of skill or knowledge, you know? Say, like, if one were to dig a hole with a, a spoon instead of a shovel, you'd still have a hole at the end of the day. So, in that regard, I don't really feel the desire to go infamous. But, 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 Jen! What about the fancy rewards? The, the colors and the, the mask and the whatever? You know, a lot of that stuff I can pass up on. You know, weapon colors? They don't interest me in the slightest. And the prospect of a shiny new suit skin? Okay, admittedly, that's kind of nice. Unfortunately, suit skins in this game are a dime a dozen. You know, character models, they're super jank, and they look really old and ugly. And there's maybe like, what, one or two skins that are even remotely good? Most of them are just bad, and I don't really think it's worth the effort to go infamous just to get another mediocre skin. And in a similar vein, I feel like a lot of the stuff that you know one might be dissatisfied with in terms of cosmetics, they can be remedied by mods. The modding community has put in a lot of time and love into the game, and there's some really nice mods out there to choose from. I mean, hell, earlier you heard my Stinger mod earlier, right? I really quite enjoyed that one, and I really don't plan on replacing it anytime soon. So, you know, for reasons like that, I just don't find it worth my time to go infamous. But I will say that Overkill added a few good quality of life features in the infamy system, and while the cosmetic rewards don't entice me personally, it may entice others into playing the game more than what is healthy. So overall, I think it's actually a pretty neat addition to the game. I just think it would have been nice if, you know, it were around earlier so that I could have been getting some of these rewards while I was actually playing and enjoying the game. But that's a time long gone. Regrettably, this also means that I won't be able to show you guys the cosmetic rewards. I know that some of you were very curious and hoping I could show it off. In fact, I'm a little curious myself, but I just don't want to put myself through the pain of leveling again. I play this game fairly infrequently now, and when I get on, I really appreciate having all of my skills and weapons being available right at the start. I feel like, in general, my negativity about Infamy is also in part due to how Infamy has been treated in general regarding this game. You know, I made a quip earlier about how some people on CrimeNet, they were already Infamy 500. And that's just the kind of reputation that this game has. There's no punishment for scripts or trainers. They're incredibly accessible and easy to use. Nearly half of all the players probably use cheats of some sort in this game. And that's just how it is. In the past, I've had a fair amount of headache because, well, seeing someone with Max Infamy just makes someone look suspicious. 
a very cookie cutter cheater will have hack to max infamy, give him all the levels, yada yada. With a game community that's quick to be toxic, there's just so many things that turn you away. I basically don't play the game anymore unless I'm by myself or with close friends. Infamy at this point in the game's life cycle just isn't worth a damn to me. I'd rather spend my time playing other games than to play the same levels using the same weapons and same skills, and they're rather unbalanced too, all over again. But hey, that's just me, and nobody listens to me anyway. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys again in the next one.